Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. Um, first things first, Adrus, yeah he looks a bit different, I know, you've probably already noticed. Um, the reason he looks a bit different is because I've installed the latest version which people have been telling me about, uh, the latest version of the um, the uh, um, Oblivion character overhaul, um, which was the mod I had that made all the NPCs look a lot more detailed and stuff like that. Um, I did have some issues with that version of the mod, um, so I got the new one which required a complete reinstall of the uh, mod completely because it's a separate. It's it's hosted on the Oblivion Nexus as a completely separate mod because of the extensive changes it makes are just so large, you know. Um, um, but the results so far, I've been testing a little bit, have been pretty impressive, especially on the NPCs. Um, and um, I decided to go with it for now, keep on testing it, see whether or not I like it. Um, and obviously it's changed the way Idris looks now. So he looks a little bit different again. Um, might get some, take some getting used to for some people. I kind of like it though. Um, I feel like he has slightly more personality to his features than he did before. He looks a little more hawkish, doesn't he? I don't know what that is. Or maybe maybe it's the eyebrows. Um, but he looks pretty cool. Um, you'll know he looks a bit more like a high elf from Skyrim, perhaps. One of the aims of the mod, it actually even says on that page, is to make the NPCs look a bit more like the ones from Skyrim and Morrowind. Um, it does that pretty well, I think. Um, in fact, you will notice actually, and I should get this out of the way because it might people will probably be ask me about it, you know, when it crops up. It does actually make the elf NPCs, mainly the high elves and the the wood elves in this game, now they have the same eye colours that they have in Skyrim and Morrowind. So, for example, a lot of the Bosma will now have completely black pupil, uh, not pupils, but completely black eyeballs. Um, you know, very very dark coloured eyeballs like they do in. Um, Skyrim and the um, High Elves will have sort of those like deep green brown eye colours. Um, Idris's eyes are still staying blue however. Um, the reason for that is it's because he was already an existing character when I installed the mod and therefore it changed his main f facial appearance based on the new meshes and stuff but it didn't actually change his eyes. Um, if I were to go into the character creation menu right now um, and try to change his eyes, it would default to one of the uh, green ones, and I could do that for the sake of, you know, fitting with the mod, but I, I don't know, I think I tried it and it just looked a little bit odd, it didn't look like Idris anymore. I think for whatever reason, the fact that he has bright blue eyes like that has become part of his visual identity as a character, actually. Once you take that away and you give him the standard sort of Skyrim style green or brown eyes, he just doesn't look like Idris anymore, it's quite odd. Um, difficult to explain, really, but you know, um, he still looks like the man himself though, like this, so I'm going to leave it like that. As for a reason why his eyes are that colour and no, no, none of the other high elves in this game are like that, um, I don't really know. Um, maybe he's got some human lineage in there somewhere, perhaps. Maybe one of his parents was human, who knows. Um, something like that, but basically he has blue eyes. Sort of human eyes, if you like, rather than elf eyes. Because um, the change was too jarring. I did try it with by 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 changing the eyes the way they should be with the new mod, but it did look just looked a bit odd. But you know what? I can I can go ahead and quick save here, and I can show you myself. If I go erase menu, oh, I see you can see here it's blank. Cause he's not supposed to have those eyes. If I switch to that, also his you know his age and complexion have defaulted to a different version for some reason, but. You see that? Like the, the, the highborn green, arctic blossom, whatever the hell that stuff is, autumn, celestial gold. They're basically a lot of the eye colours imported from Skyrim. And it, I don't know, it just, look, it just looks weird on him for some reason. It, look, it works, seem, seems to work fine for the NPCs, but on him it does it look like Idris. It looks like someone disguised as Idris wearing his clothes. Um, I don't know, maybe some of you will disagree, but I didn't like it, so that's why. I decided to leave it as it was. So anyway, that's what I thought I'd get this out of the way to begin with because it'll be the first question a lot of people ask. That's why he looks different. Uh, but I te let me tell you, it does work do wonders for the NPCs. If I just dash in here and I show you what some of them look like now, that's the main draw, I think. Because one of the one of the big problems I've always had with Oblivion is it's just it it's ass ugly NPCs. It's potato faced people. It just they they've always looked weird, yeah, really right. odd to me. 
As you can you see, killed them all. Thank you, stranger. Strange voice acting aside, look, he does look a lot better than he did before. Um, same with this guy, um, who doesn't have any voice dialogue apparently. <laughs> there we go. See, like before, the the NPC skins looked a little plasticky, especially this guy. It was very shiny and plasticky, and it's. Still got an element of that just because of the way the lighting effects work in this game, but his his skin looks a lot more rough and sort of weathered and stuff like as you'd expect from an old miner like him. Um, this fella here as well, and just generally looks a bit better, I think. Anyway, I, you guys will either agree or disagree. Um, it's just one of the things we're going to work out now. First thing I'm noticing in the minute actually is this field of view is actually slightly disorientating. Um, I'm sat a lot closer to my screen than I usually am, actually, when I'm recording this. I maybe should sit back a bit, just so I can get a bit closer to the microphone, but, um... Wow, the field of view is quite steep, actually. I'm not sure I'm a fan of it, a fan of it honestly. <laughs> and I can't find the exit, there we go. I right, we need to go this way. I can't remember what the console command to change it is, though. That's the problem. I have no idea what it is. I've forgotten completely. Um, I think it was like set custom FOV to, I don't know, 80, 80 maybe? Yeah, no, I have no idea. Set custom FOV to 80. Oh, 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 there we go, that's a bit better. Well, actually, that's not quite 85. Yeah, you know what? That I can deal with. That works for me. Right, cool. Anyway, um, that's what I have it set to in Skyrim anyway, so um, I think it was set to 90 previously. Um, I think that's what it defaults to, so um, yeah, no, I'm not, not, not happy with that. Anyway, so yeah, this is the new Edris. Looks a bit, the only real differences are, I think, mainly that his face obviously looks a bit different, and I think his hair colour is slightly browner. I changed it because of that way it matched more with his eyebrows. Because, um... One strange side effect of this mod is that the eyebrows are always this sort of brown colour. You, you can't change what colour the eyebrows are right? unless you make them very, very dark or very, very light. Um, so, and it looked very odd when he had his original hair colour with it. It looked like someone had bleached his eyebrows um, a different colour. <laughs> very strange, but anyway. So, uh, all this modding preamble out of the way, let's get back to the actual game itself, why don't we? Um, so here we are, we're outside Bloodvein Mine, who, we, a very kind of, um, uh, Christ, here we go, already. Um, they're very kind of, more of these goblins, I hate them. Um, a very sort of, I don't know what the word is really, um, appropriately I suppose, may, named mine actually, now I think about it. Blood vein Mine, I mean how did I not suspect there were going to be vampires inside, judging by the name, you know. Um, poison of Affliction. It's worth a fair amount for a potion that's basically useless. I have to be honest there, actually. Um, anyway, so. We've, uh, we've, we've done this, we've done this, we've done this. Um, let me just go to the quest log. Yep, Clara's Oven has agreed to dig a tunnel to the overgrown spire. He'll contact me as soon as it's done. I should return to check up on T's progress with the experiment. So. Basically, we need to be on our way back to the Archaeology Guild. However, before we do that, um, I intend to go back to... Um, I intend to go to um, the Imperial City, actually. Because um, I want to go to the Arcane University and do some more Aeliad Stepstones research, actually. I want to get that going a little bit, because we're a little ahead on the, the last spires and a little bit behind on the Aeliad Steps, so I want to go do that first. So I, I will we'll kind of... The, my plan at the minute is to go up here to the Arcane University, then just down there to the Archaeology Guild. We'll do it that way around, basically. Um, I have no idea where Elbert is. I'm assuming he fast-traveled to Breville with me. Um, but I got a ship, is the official story. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Um, I got a ship from the Imperial City to Breville, so by all rights, the Elba should still be in the Imperial City, so... Logically speaking, so what I might do is I might just quick... When I get to the Imperial City, I'll get to the stables, and... 
I'm, you know, when I'm going to go leave and go to the um, archaeology guild, I will probably just sort of quickly fast travel on the spot, just so that the horse kind of respawns next to me or whatever. So anyway, basically we're going on foot though, um, back to the Imperial City for now because our horse is on the other side of the Nibbin Bay. So I, I assume anyway. So I guess we're going. We might as well follow the road, I suppose. It's getting dark, though. I'm going to need to rest soon, because I do have a sleep mod installed, which will penalise me hugely if I don't rest often enough. I had another episode when I was testing a little while ago of, of wondering why on earth my strength was being drained when I didn't have a disease and it wasn't being cured by the chapel altars. Um, and then I remembered, oh yeah, it's the strength mod. I mean, strength mod, sleep mod. I do have Caffey though, if I get desperate. I need, I keep forgetting about that stuff. That does actually, you know, get rid of some of the side effects. It's basically coffee. You know, it wakes you up more. That's the whole point of it anyway. So anyway, for now, I get... don't know what's going on up here. I guess we'll find out as we get closer. But, um... I don't remember those statues being there before. Never mind. Um... What's the idea with the Caffey stuff, anyway? And we're able to level up as well, so... All more reason to rest. What the devil? Imperial Bridge Inn. Well, since there seems to be a gigantic colour blue going on up the road there, and it's getting dark anyway... Uh, why not? Let's go to the inn. Assuming it's... Where is the inn? It's called the Imperial Bridge Inn. We are next to a bridge. One would assume it's across this bridge here? I'm not really sure. I don't see an inn anywhere. Well, let's follow this path and see where we... Okay, a lit lantern. That would seem to imply civilization or possibly just... What are you? Great at magma golem. I think not, Sonny Jim. What is Cyrodiil coming to? You can't go for a walk in the woods these days without being accosted by huge magical beings of infinite potential destruction. I mean, goodness me. Whatever. I won't say no to those gems, but still. It's just because I'm getting quite high level now. Oh, flax. Well, never ever say no to that. Ladies mantle, no, that's useless. And a little bit of a little background there. Up slightly. Um I think it's Viking invasion music in the background here. It doesn't come up as often as I'd like on the playlist for when we're out exploring and stuff, which is a shame because it's a really beautiful little piece of music, I think. Cool little stable thing here, I guess. I'm not really sure why you put lan you know, lanterns in here. That seems like a bit of a waste, but whatever. <laughs> this looks cozy enough. Let's head inside. I don't recall ever being to this place before. Then again, that said, it probably looks a lot different to when I last previously came here on account of the fact that I now have unique landscapes installed. Hello! Hello! Oh yeah, you'll notice a lot of new hairstyles as well. Some better than others. This kind of mohawk thing I didn't notice before, but that's kind of cool. If I had a dark elf character, I'd have that. pick that hairstyle in a heartbeat. Um, excuse me. Your allegiance soldier out the way. Oh, you know. yeah, okay, he's grumpy. He's going to his room. Let's not bother talking to him. Um, excuse me. I hope I can help. Right, can you? I need a bed. It's not the nicest bed in Cyrodiil, but it's cheap. Ten gold. And it's yours for the night. It's very honest of you, but you're not selling yourself very well, are you? Then again, this is probably the nearest bed to the Imperial City, so she doesn't have to sell it, does she? I'll take it. Very well. You can use either bed on the top floor, 
Oh, and do watch your step. This is like a very, very old building. What do you train in? Hand to hand. Uh, not interested. Um, what do we have? Anything useful alchemy wise? I've kind of given up on eating at this point in the. Ah, venison. In the let's play, uh, some of you did note that I hadn't stopped to actually eat any meals. I'm, I'm pretty much at this point just assuming that Idris is getting himself something to eat while he's doing during the rest periods. Because um, considering I don't have a mod like realistic needs and diseases for Skyrim installed, I feel like it's just kind of a waste of time. Because I forget to do it half the time anyway, even when I am trying. So, and you know, this music is obnoxiously loud. It's good, but it's obnoxiously loud. It requires a bit of normalizing. Um, hello. I don't suppose I could convince you to help me recover my research notes. Uh, my sympathies go out to a fellow scholar in need, but I do have my own priorities. Um, uh, what research notes? Explain. I was doing some research in Bramble Point Cave, and suddenly I was attacked. I grabbed everything I could and ran, but I fear I dropped my notes. Who were you attacked by? Those notes are very important to me and represent ten years of my life. If you could recover them, I'd be sure to reward you appropriately. Why can't you recover them yourself? Look at you. you you're clearly some sort of competent, vaguely competent mage. I mean, look, you've got a badass staff. Um, well, you know, for all I know, it could be like a staff of, you know, dispel oneself or something silly like that, but still. Um, what did your research involve? Well, if you must know, I've been studying the Welkin Stones. Oh? Yes, the aquamarine colored crystals usually native to alien ruins. It seems I'm the first to discover them growing in a natural cave. That's about all I can say about it. For keeping it tip top secret, are you? Naturally occurring Welkin stones. That's interesting. Right, that really is actually quite interesting. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll take him up on that offer. I conscious of the amount of time it's taking me to get this sort of stuff done, but whatever. Maybe we can sort of try and... Oh, it, it's kind of headed in the direction we're going anyway, so we don't have to bugger off into, you know, the, the frigging Morrowind again, like we did when we were travelling down here initially. We never did go to the Forbidden Monastery in the end, did we? Or Witch Town. Or the Scar, whatever the heck that is, I've forgotten. Eastern Rangers Farm, Fallen Watchtower, Monstrous Chapel, Morrowind, Serial Border Checkpoint, Memorial Fort, South Valles Mining Industries. Yeah. Oh yeah, and Vol's Vulcans, the volcano. That was quite interesting. Um, yeah, by the way, actually, um, for those of you who maybe were unaware of it, we have that we have encountered a cliff racer in this in this uh, let's play before, sort of. Um, back, if you go back to the episodes, and someone pointed this out in the comments, you might still be able to see it there. But in one of the episodes where we were hanging around at the memorial, no, sorry, not memorial floor, but uh, the, the border checkpoint. Um, as you can see, we're actually across the border. We're in Morrowind at that point, um, pretty much, as far as the map's concerned. And if you pause the video at a certain point, one of the viewers pointed out, I didn't notice this at the time, obviously, but if you pause the video at a certain point, up on, above one of the hills in the background, you can actually see the silhouette of a cliff racer flying above one of the hills. Um, which I totally didn't notice when I first did it, and some, it was only a viewer who managed to point it out um, after pausing the video at that point, particularly, because you can only see it for a brief second before the video carries on. Um, but yeah, so we, we've, we've, we, we've guest starred with a cliff racer at one point in this Let's Play, back when we were doing the old Border Checkpoint episode. So, um, just a little bit of trivia for you in case you didn't notice that the first time around. Anyway, Bramble Point Cave is over there. I reckon, let's see, if, we'll see if we can kind of try and speedrun it a bit, you know, get through it as fast as possible. Then maybe make it to the Imperial City at least by the end of the episode. So that's what we'll do. We've wasted enough time already, so. Let's rest for 11 hours. I 
I forgot to check how much time I needed to rest at, up there at the top. We'll assume this is about enough. Should be. I don't think I had any sleep debt built up at this point already, but you know. Right, strength, uh, agility, and intelligence. All so close to 100. Don't worry about the pause, it normally does that. There we go. Want to increase the agility a bit, like I said last time. Mainly just because, you know, um, it, apparently it will stop me getting knocked down in combat all the time. Um, or, you know, it will, it will go a bit of a way towards preventing that. How are my skills doing? Restoration's at 45. Getting close to, we need five more of that. Five more eggs on that, then I can finally cast regeneration. Um, I will say that this mod is that it just look, does look a little bit uh, odd on the, on, the, on the character screen, but who gives a damn, it's just the character screen. He looks fine with the actual in-game lighting. Um, anyway, yeah, I need five more points in that. Tantalizingly close. And I need to work on my destruction and conjuration and whatnot as well. Um, people have been saying, oh, you're just playing a... Wait a minute, I think you can get shields from these. Some of my bolets. So I'll grab those. Um, oh, you, you basically just, it's like you're playing a fighter character now, because like the last couple of episodes I was using the, uh, the old katana quite a bit. Um, and first of all, don't be silly, because uh, I've been summoning all sorts of skeletons, using shield spells, um, all that sort of thing. And, you know, and secondly, I actually would use spells more often, it's just in the last episode in particular, we were fighting vampires, and I want to get... I want to get Light of Dawn upgraded. I want it to um, do all its cool things, like protect me from horrific hemophilia and you know just do more damage in general and that sort of thing. And I can only do that if I kill vampires with it. So naturally, when we were in the mine killing vampires, I was trying to use the sword more than I was my spells to kill things. So, uh, but right now, for instance, it's far more convenient to just zap these wolves than actually fight them. Oh, wolves. I cannot escape you no matter what game I play, apparently, at the minute. Oh god, there was a massacre here, alright. Yeah. Uh, don't you dare. Don't you dare. Just had these robes washed, damn it. We'll take all this lovely stuff, though. More potions for me. More pelts to sell. Ah, oh, an Imperial Legion Ranger. Damn. I didn't realise there was an Imperial Legion Ranger up here. If I knew that, I probably would have tried to help him, but... Uh, ooh, wine. You know, he just likes his wine. Um, especially the vintages. Uh, but uh, if I knew... Oh, damn. If I knew this, there was a friendly guy up here, I would have, I would have come to help. But, um... Yeah, there we go. I thought it was just... God, a primal troll. Where you going? Where'd you, where'd you, where'd you, where'd you, oh, he brought friends. Okay, so a primal troll and a goblin are walking down the road one day, and they meet this this elf wizard, and apparently a joke ensues, because <laughs> that's what it sounds like to me. Um. Healing, sorcery. Come on, come on, come on. Good grief, that was a rubbish potion. Let's have a few more of those and a few of these too. And the game crashed. I don't know at which point precisely it stopped recording, but yes, the game crashed while we were fighting a troll and a goblin on the road northwards. Unfortunately, it's very annoying, but um, it, this, this sort of thing happens. Well, I'll just have to deal with it, and uh, unfortunately, I'm going to go kill all those wolves again. Uh, annoyingly enough, well, first of all, let's just drink those now. We'll save us some time later. Um, so, yeah, I've... Um, I've um, 
I've been trying to record this a bit more often recently. I'm, I'm aiming to get at least two updates out maybe each week. Um, though that's that's really a rough, very rough estimation in goal. It's not something I'm specifically aiming to get on point of death. Um, but it would be nice, nice, a nice goal to achieve. Um, got more, blah, 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 blah. more often than Skyrim at the minute, just because I'm enjoying this more than Skyrim. I think that's the brutal and honest truth, and you know, frankly, I think you guys deserve. I just come out and say it, actually, rather than just make excuses. I am enjoying this more than Skyrim at the minute, um, and that is why I've been doing more of it. Um, Skyrim is a good game. Um, but uh, I think this is something. Oh, a dead slayer! I didn't think I saw you the first time round, did I? I don't know why I picked up that mead. I don't think Idris is a mead person, really. Um, but you know, I mean, I think Varex said this at one point. Like Skyrim is a good game. But it's very easy to get bored of it. Um, and I think he's absolutely right. I've hit a bit of a point in the Skyrim Let's Play at the minute. Where really not a lot is happening, and it's it's it, well, it's getting a little bit, a little bit of a bit of a chore to play, honestly. Um, I quite often sit there and think, oh Christ, it's time to record some more Skyrim again, and I basically have to force myself through another half hour or hour of it, where I'll do another dungeon or something like that, and you know, um, I think it's Welkin Stone time, isn't it? Um. Oh my goodness! God, I thought the game was gonna crash then for again for a second. Troll vets. Nope, we don't need that. All right then. But yeah, anyway, it it, it kind of it's kind of got to the point. I, I I once I get over that kind of hump a bit, I think, and get a little bit more 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 inspired to do it. I think it'll get better once we start getting. Oh, we've gone right past the cave. Um, once we start getting a little bit more into the companions quest, I think I'll probably peak a bit more interest in it, and especially once we get to side on Dragonborn, that is my main goal at the minute. I think actually is to, is to get going with that let's play and get 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 on a Dragonborn and get doing Dragonborn because I feel like I want a, a courier. Oh, it's one of the. Uh, well, you won't be needing those. I'm, I mean, it seems really bad just looting a corpse like that, but she's out here in the wilderness, and you know. She's only going to get eaten by the wildlife at the end of the day, and I'm, I, I can't—I certainly can't drag her back to the to the nearest town with me. Um, um, okay, so it's down here somewhere. This way. Ugh. Well. This is typical Oblivion right here. Big battle, mu battle music, and then nothing appears. Just nothing at all. It just, yeah. I mean, look, look at this. I'm standing here right now, and there's just, and it'll be like a rat or something that's got caught on a rock or something. I, oh yeah, or it just mysteriously stops again. It just. Uh. Oh, it's back again. Whatever it was has changed its mind. It does actually what we did. Oh, it's a random wolf. Of course. Or not. There's not something else out here, apparently. Oh, another wolf. I just picked up a collarbone. I don't want a dog's collarbone. Sorry, a wolf's collarbone. Um, why would I? That seems very silly. Oops. But yeah, I think I think my main problem with Skyrim is at the minute I, I I'm retreading old ground that I've played a lot before. Um, the companions I've done quite a lot before. You know, I've just a, a lot of the side quests I've done before. One of the reasons I enjoy uh, it's a that's an ogre, isn't it? Yeah, it's an ogre. Um, one of the reasons I'm enjoying this so much at the minute is because I am doing two quest mods that I have never done before. This is all new to me, essentially, and. Ultimately, I've played this game a lot less, and I'm you know I'm, I'm using lots of mods as well, like Oscura's Overhaul and unique landscapes and that sort of thing as well. And so it's a very fresh experience for me. 
actually. Um, and Skyrim, even with lots of the mods I've got, is a bit stale by comparison to the minute, actually. Um, so, my main issue with it. But we've reached that point in Claudius' story where I do want to be doing the companions with him. Um, that's kind of one of the goals I've got set for his character. He, he's going to go through the companions. Um, and... Uh, there's no two ways about it really, but once he's, once we're done with that, we can move on to things like Dragonborn and we can even do, maybe look into quest, some quest mods like uh, Falscar for example, that's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And there are other mods like that on the way, actually there's quite a few, in fact. Ifriti. Are you, you? Well, you're not hostile. For now. Neither's the, neither's the troll, so... Well, alright then. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Okay. Minotaurs. Oh, Minotaurs. Minotaurs. There are Minotaurs, people. The entire cave is like, did I trespass too far in? Basically just decided that you, I was allowed to go no further. Good grief. How did these guys just appear out of nowhere? Like, if this guy was in this cave with his notes doing his research and then he got attacked, he said. He got attacked by all of this and he made it out alive? Mother of God. I don't think he needs my help if that's the case. Uh, you know what? Wailing on this guy with my sword is not gonna do me any favors. I need. I need the big sword. Oh, or I need to just not get my ass knocked over by this Minotaur. There we go, right. You know, save this thing for special occasions, but. You know what? There's another Minotaur in there, so I'm not gonna put it away just yet. Oh no! Okay, there were there were two of them. They're both dead. Um, take that rawhide bear skin and those leopard pelts. Don't know about the minotaur horn though. Don't know if I really need that. No. Ah, yeah, no, there is another one. Right. Okay. Uh, let's have a potion of healing. Restore health. Strong potion of sorcery. Um. Where? Play with these guys for a bit, you, you fiend. No, no, don't, don't just ignore them. Just me. Yeah, no. Uh, he's not gonna. He's he's too smart for that, isn't he? Um. Right, I'm gonna go toe to toe with you, pal. I need need some shield. There we go. This thing just swing a lot slower than uh, Light of Dawn does. Light of Dawn's a pretty light weapon by comparison, I think. Anyway. Let's, let's also get some torches out. It's getting a bit dark in here. Got a warlock torch with the indigo aura as well, which gives me extra shield. So that's just a good thing to have. Hello. That's a nice find. Resist magic's nice, although not powerful enough to me for me to bother with it, I don't think. But it's worth plenty of money, you know, so. Neck a few potions of sorcery, I think. And, yeah, I'll switch back to Light of Dawn. Now what? Will of the Wisps? Is that what this is? Yeah. Right, you shouldn't be too much of an issue to deal with. Oh boy, okay. Kind of nasty, aren't you? You are, you're a... Another oblivion enemies, aren't you? Yeah, they are. I think glow dust. Yep. I seem to recall that you need glow dust for a quest at one point or another. I can't remember what quest, but um, whatever. I'm gonna pick that up as a result. I feel like maybe I should just pick up all ingredients as I find them, maybe, and just have a kind of catalogue of the damn things lying around. Wow, appar apparently the... The Will of the Wisps m m massacred those trolls and imps. Time I massacred them, I suppose. Don't forget the, uh... Oh yeah, we can use this, can't we? Forget, forgot about this. Top. Touch range, area of effect, fire spell. Very nice. I can't remember what I called it, but I'm pretty sure it was a custom made one. 
Wow, yeah, okay, there was a big battle in here, apparently. Um, trapped out in a Bramble Point cave. Very well. Uh, you know what? Screw that, actually. There's no one else in, in this upper layer, so why don't I just bash this, this chest open here? Um, my god, I don't need these, though. At all. Oh, the short sword of jolts is broken. Fair dues. Can I use instead? Can I use my fists? Oh. What then? What then? Who? Where? What's going on? Show yourself. Okay. Well, where were we? <laughs> All right, come on now. This is just silly. Oh, crikey! Hello. There we go. Right now, can I bash this thing open? I, 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 I give up. I really do. And it stops. As soon as I leave that bit. What is the deal with this, really? Screw that chest. It's probably not, not, not got anything in it that that's amazing, anyway. That is that amazing, anyway. I should friggin' say. Let us speak English. Goodness me. Again, not wanting to waste too much time down here. It's just a random cave, as far as I'm really concerned, with just full of imps and stupid things like that. I kind of don't have time for this. Shiite. Locked. Never mind. Screw it. It's it, you know what you you can generally tell which ones have the good stuff in, in anyway because they they're always named stuff like ruined chest or banded chest. Um, they always have very hard locks on them and things like that. So oh, retribution. Wait a minute. I just I didn't even bother to check what that did. I just picked it up. Reflect damage eight percent. Um, cool. Not that great though. Am I still wearing... No, I do have the Grand Ring of Intelligence instead of the Ring of Feather. Gotcha. Alright, now I'm a little bit lost. This way is the way we want to go, apparently. I'm not interested in side passages. I just want to get to where I need to go. Hello, there's an NPC over there. And uh, yeah, you need to you need to go away, savage troll. Crikey, you're uh, you're nasty. You're not, but you're dead. Thankfully, huge is he? This mate down there is big as well. Oh, that's not an NPC. That's a werewolf, isn't it? Like you can see, right? Werewolves, wonderful. And these trolls reflect damage, apparently. That's new. Oh, goodness me, they do a lot of damage. Forget everything else, I just want healing. I'm also not actually using a uh, shield spell at the minute, which is not really doing me any favors. No more potions right now. Oh, go away. Um, right now, I think I can take you guys on, especially since I've got another eight seconds of healing. This potion has lasted a long time. I keep forgetting. I made one pretty potent. Hey, destruction increase. Nice. Good to see. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. If I have one of those strong potions of healing lying around, yeah, there we do. That's, that'll do the trick. Whew! Not an easy fight at all. I'm going to bother looting the trolls, they don't have anything useful on them anyway. A couple of those, and we'll go take on this werewolf. Wherever the hell he's lurking. I saw him. I wasn't making that up. I'm pretty sure I wasn't imagining it either. He's around here somewhere. I'm going to say, I kind of accidentally went and just killed him in that melee without realizing. Which could quite possibly be the case. Yeah, there we go. There's a werewolf. I thought he was a small troll. Um... There we go. That's a monster mod creature, I believe. Werewolves. They were not in the original game. A perfect amethyst. Wow. I'm going to see one of those every day. Right. Come at me, bro. These guys aren't particularly resistant to melee attacks, so I'm just going to wail on him with my sword a bit. Although he is draining my health, which is making it a little bit slower. There we go. You, sir, are dead. Sir or madam, of course. I, I don't know what gender Will of the Wisps actually are. What, are you a gargoyle, or...? Yeah, it's a gargoyle, I thought so. It's got horns, you see. And it's quite big. Hence, it's a gargoyle. Gargoyle horn? Yeah, right then. Elemental salts. Good grief, what's going on in here? So fritties and everything in this place. Good, it's me. Hey, yeah, yeah. Have some, have some skeletons to play with, and get out of my face! My God, seriously, get out of here! Crikey, oh, blimey! Where's that potion of magic with the? Yeah, there we go. The shield effect. I may have accidentally hit my skeleton once or twice at this point, but never mind. No, you guys are cool. Awesome. Right. Oh, having minions available at the touch of a button like that is just just so damn... Oh, wow. I've got these guys turned into uh, little piles of fire salts when they die. Um, that, that's so useful, though, to be able to summon creatures. In all the Elder Scrolls games, actually, I think, I feel to be honest, actually, although Skyrim probably less so than the others. Um, um, we were going the wrong way. Uh, of course, Skyrim is kind of like vanilla oblivion as well, though. You can only summon one creature at a time, which is a bit of a pain. But then again, I don't know, I suppose maybe it's fair enough. I mean, the reason why the multiple you know, summons works kind of quite well in this is because it's balanced quite well against the increased spawns from, you know, Oscuro's Overhaul and, um, and, and the March Monster mod and stuff like that. So, I guess it works quite well like that, actually. Bit troll. Yeah, you're just a regular troll, aren't you? A regular troll isn't a problem. And look, some of these crystals he was saying about. Fortunately, I can't. I can't appear to take them for my own ends. Sadly, this place would have been dead useful otherwise. What's going on in here? A land reg, eh? Wow, it's the first first of those we've seen in this LP. And this one's dead. 
probably a good thing. Egg wax. Oh, I see. This is this. Yep, there we go. Research notes. Right then. Grab all the loot while we're at it. Um, and some mushrooms. Should we have a look at his research notes? If we can. How long are they? Not very long. As I entered the final chamber of Bramble Point Cave, my eyes fell upon the goal of my expedition. In the inky blackness, the familiar aquamarine glow of the Welkin Stone beckoned me in, in silent reverence. I was the first here in ages, evidenced by the thick layers of dust and debris strewn about. I don't remember how long I stood there, in awe of the beautiful crystals outside their natural environment. They all said I was crazy, a fool, a buffoon. Crystals growing outside alien ruins? Preposterous. I spent nearly, nearly a decade in all the money I had crossing Cyrodiil and exploring the many natural caves dotting her landscape. Then, on that fateful night, an orc stumbled into the Imperial Bridge Inn where I happened to be drinking. He spouted off a line of nonsense about creatures that came out of the darkness, and I dismissed him as drunk, until he said something that gripped my heart with hope. He spoke of a light in the darkness, as blue as the Lady Sea. Could it be the Welkin stones I was seeking? I had to know more. A few gold and many drinks later, the orc told me where he'd been in Bramble Point Cave. As I made my way through the night, to the cave, my mind was racing. The stories had to be true. The alien culture had mastered the art of the creating these crystalline structures and was just beginning to cultivate them outside of their underground communities when they disappeared from history. That meant one thing. With the pro proper materials, magic and research, the Welkin Stone could adapt to any environment. I had to get to Bramble Point and study them before anyone else found them. This would be my mark on history, my moment to shine. And now, after climbing through the cave, I have arrived at this chamber. After I finish this entry in my logbook, I'll have so much to do. So much to do indeed. This will be the day that Lithnillion will be remembered as the first to unlock the secrets of the Welkin Stone. There we go, I see it. Well, less research notes, more melodramatic personal diary. But fine, whatever. I'm not here to judge. Well, that's, even though that's exactly what I just did. Um... What's this go? Some canbalette mushrooms and a dead end, apparently. Fair enough. Well, let's get the heck out of here and back to the inn then. Is there nothing in this corner that's unexplored on my map? A chest! Dwayne McGree. It's too heavy. Ooh, restoration increased. Awesome, 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 awesome. It's now 46. Good to see. Um, which which way? Where does this go? To another dead end. Alright then, fair enough. Very extensive cave networks to be found in Cyrid, I'll have to admit. Very extensive indeed. Unlike you, anything you would probably find anywhere else, in fact. Naturally occurring, that is. Of course, plenty of this could have been dug out, I suppose. It just seemed a little odd, though, to me. Oh. Hang on a minute, we've been in here. Well, I don't know, maybe we haven't, and maybe these just have been massacred by... Oh, well, for... Hurrah. By some other members of the dungeon, because apparently this dungeon's in some sort of crazy civil war at the minute. Oh, creatures are butchering each other. Yeah, I thought so. Ah, werewolf. Die, foul creature. There we go. It's only a lesser werewolf. I wonder what greater werewolves look like. I don't think I've encountered any. It's just been lesser ones so far. Now then. Deep Bramble Point Cave, Deep Bramble Point Cave, this way. No, this way, right. Uh, 
Oh, this way as well. Getting there, guys. We're getting there. We needn't have done this little quest, I suppose, but I don't really see why you just wouldn't help our fellow, scho fellow scholar in need, you know? Considering we were heading this way anyway. I just kind of feel like... You know, yeah, another... You know, another another person as well who's interested in the aliens too. So, you know, plenty of common ground to be found between these two. And, you know, so I don't see why he just wouldn't go and help this fellow. So we're, we're I, my hands are tied here. Basically is what I'm saying. Ooh. I'll use it to bash things open with. If I don't sell it. Nibonet Basin, right, here we go. Awesome, right. Don't need that anymore. I could have been wearing my hood while I was in there, but I don't think... Wait, well, it turned out in the end I didn't need the extra buffs from the hood, so... Um... Let's cut across country here a bit, shall we? Just for the sake of time. I am aware this episode has been going on for quite a while now, actually. Frankly, it would make my life easier if they were shorter, because then I could upload shorter episodes more often, in the same way I used to do. But these days, I've gotten to the habit of basically calling an episode quits, once I feel like we've accomplished something worth putting in an episode, if you know what I mean. Like doing a quest like this. I don't like cutting things off halfway. Um, so, in many cases, and especially with like the late Skyrim episode, like people complain, No, oh, it's only half an hour long. Ugh. Um, but that was what that was what seemed the appropriate length of that episode. I did that little side quest involving the, involving the monastery, and um, and and did that, and then we got back out again, and that kind of tied things up neatly, neat, nice and neatly. In the next episode, we can make it back to Whiterun. You know, that just that just you know fitted quite well. You know, I don't, I'm not a big believer in just dragging out an episode of the Let's Play just because people feel like they deserve more running time. Um, it's not how it works on this channel, I'm afraid. An episode ends when I feel it should end, whether that takes me two hours or or twenty minutes. Or they might call a bear to tear you apart. This is true. I hope your expedition has been more successful than mine. It has, actually. Splendid. Just splendid. I almost feared that you'd never return. I'm glad to see I was incorrect. As promised, I'd like to compensate you for your efforts. These strong persons of invisibility. Oh, all right then. Thank you very much. You're quite welcome. Ah, oh, fair enough. I'm, I'm happy with that. Well, you know, for now, I think Idris is going to sit down at the bar here. I'm going to... To celebrate our success, drink this bottle of extremely well-aged wine and relax for a little bit before we, we uh, set off this afternoon for the Imperial City and the Arcane University. Till then, ladies and gentlemen, Goodbye.